let's look at problem number eight. Question number eight, let's quickly run through this problem. Mr. Kumar lost a portion of the records. A portion, moment we see the word a portion, we are already in this part of the sum. If partial stocks are lost, so portion, part of it only is lost. Lost a portion of the stock due to fire accident on 15th of April 2004. Later goods worth 9,000 and some records. So 9,000 worth of stocks and some records were salvaged from fire. So these two things are saved. Records and 9,000 rupees worth of stocks. The following details are available. And what is given here in this block is the sales of each year and the gross profit is given. So we'll have to find out the gross profit ratio, gross profit by sales into 100 for each of the years individually. Then take the total of all the gross profits, take average, and that will be the average gross profit ratio we'll have to consider for our memorandum trading account. Here we are given details about the details to prepare the memorandum trading account that is from the date of the financial year beginning 1st January 2004 to the date of fire that is 15th April 2004 all the transactions have been given in a summary form here these are the details for preparation of memorandum trading account so here we are going to get average GP ratio we are going to take that a certain number and then the closing balance of stock will be balancing figure that will be the amount of claim since policy amount is not given anywhere in the sum. So let us start working out question number eight, step number one, that is calculation of GP ratio for each year. Calculation of GP ratio. For the year, the formula we have for GP ratio is gross profit is equal to gross profit by sales, that is net sales, into 100. So for the year 2000, for the year 1999, that's the first year. Gross profit is 2,15,000 and sales is 8,60,000 into 100. So GP ratio will be, I'll just put down the GP ratios here. If we calculate that, let us take the calculator and do the calculation work in the end. Just let us put the numbers. For the next year, for the year 2000, for the year 2000, gross profit is 2,13,000 divided by sales is 7,10,000 given here in the sum, sales 7,10,000 into 100. For the year 2001, the gross profit is 2 lakhs and the sales is 6 lakhs. For the year 2002, gross profit is 1 lakh 87,000 and sales is 5 lakh 50,000. And for the last year, for the year 2003, gross profit is 1,60,000 and sales is 4,80,000. Individually finding out the gross profit ratio. If we do this calculation on the calculator, we'll have 2,15,000 divided by 
eight lakh sixty thousand into hundred. That is twenty five percent. Two lakh thirteen thousand divided by seven lakh ten thousand percentage thirty percent. Two lakhs divided by six lakhs percentage is thirty three point three three percent. And one lakh eighty seven thousand divided by five lakh fifty thousand percentage is thirty four percent. The last one, one lakh sixty thousand divided by four lakh eighty thousand percentage is thirty three point three three percent. Now, in the next step, we'll have to consider the average gross profit. That is, take a total of all the five years and take an average of the gross profit. Let us add up and see what is the average gross profit. We are going to add up 25% plus 30 plus 33.33 plus 34 plus 33.33. 33. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 years. If we do that on the calculator, it will be 25, 25 plus 30 plus 33.33 plus 34 plus 33.33 works out to 155.66 divided by 5 is 31.132. So it is 31.13 percent. So that is the average gross profit. Let us start with the step two preparation of memorandum trading account. This is a very simple sum, with hardly two or three steps. We are already in the second step. We are halfway through. Preparation of memorandum trading account. Kumar. Name of the person is Kumar. For the period beginning of the year is first January two thousand four. Two date of fire is fifteenth of April. Two thousand four. Then we have our amount column. We have particulars, amount, and rupees. Credit side. Again, amount, and rupees, particulars. Debit side. Okay, we'll start with our memorandum trading account. Details of which are given here. The closing stock, as on 31st December 2003, the stock was valued at 97,000. That's the opening stock. 31st December closing stock is the stock on the next day. That is on 1st January. To opening stock. Ninety-seven thousand rupees. Then we have our purchases given over here. Purchases is seventy-five. Sales is one lakh fifty-nine. Wages is thirty thousand. So purchases seventy-five thousand.
we have sales of 1,59,000 and we have our wages given as 30,000. to GP. GP ratio we have worked out to be 31.13% of 1,59,000. Of 1,59,000. So it is 13 of 1,59,000. It works out to 1,59,000 into 31.13 percent, 49,497. With this, our totals for both the sides would be, if I just take a total, it will be 97,000 plus 75,000 plus 30,000 plus 49,497 totals up to 2,51,497 less stock less sorry sales will give us a closing stock of 92,000 497 this is the balancing figure with this we have our memorandum trading account prepared and we have found out the closing stock of 92497 let us move on to step 3 ascertainment of actual loss We have value of stock as on date of fire that is 92,497 less salvage we have salvage in the problem as 9,000 rupees salvage given in the problem 9,000 rupees. This 9,000 is considered here. If we deduct that, we'll have 83,497. That's actual loss. Since the problem is silent about policy amount, insurance claim is equal to will be the actual loss that is rupees 83,497. So let us do up the window dressing part of it.
So with this, we are done with the sum. Let us quickly run through what's given in the problem and how we have done this. This is basically as per this average gross profit, profit for each year is given. This is an application of the rule when gross profit and sales, When gro this is an application of this one, when gross profit and sales of past few years are given, we should take gross profit for each year and then take average of GP. This is an application of this particular concept. This problem is worked out. So gross profit of each year and sales of each year, gross profit and sales of each year are given here. So we are taking out gross profit of each year and then that's what we have done here. Gross profit of each year is found out. And then the average gross profit is found out. So with this average gross profit, we have used that in memorandum trading account to find out the gross profit, balancing figure is stock and the rest is, you know it. You know it better than me. Okay, hope this is clear. With this, we have come to the close of question 8.